Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main card of the evening. And we go to the tail of the tape. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing one is seven to five meters tall, weighing in at 80 kilograms, with an impressive amateur MMA record of 10 fights, seven wins, and just three losses. The pride of Dominator's Den. Submit Malibu And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing 175 meters tall, winging at 80 kilograms with an equally impressive amateur MMA record of nine fights, eight victories, and just one loss. The pride of Silverbacks, Hikorsi Doyisa! At the sound of the bell, the referee in charge is Natasha Britz. Can you feel it? Here we go! This is probably one of the scariest fights we've put on. <laughs> Both these guys are so good. Hold me. You don't want to blink. Oh, I felt that. The floating ribs. Smith Mulbu Stain collecting it in the midriff and returning it with some interest. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know that this is going to go 28 rounds. Well, if it does, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> <laughs> again, we've spoken before. Uh, again, if, guys, if you haven't watched uh, the Alpha Aftershock, if you go onto Alpha Mixed Martial Arts on Facebook, you will uh, see the Aftershock videos that myself and Dwayne Meredith do chat about uh, the upcoming events, the upcoming fights, what to look out for. Uh, and it's worth a read. Like, follow, share. <coughs> anyway, I'll tell you that story to tell you this story. Mulbu Stain only has one gear and it's forward. Of course, he has got that knockout power. That's, uh, all it takes is one punch. One and done. Both, both of these guys have knocked out big, big, big names. A um, lot of experience between the two of them. They don't waste energy. They don't waste... Yeah, it's... it's, it's uh... <laughs> I haven't blinked. I was just listening to your first instruction. Don't blink. Why does nobody else listen to me? <laughs> she just trying to. Well, this is fight. This fight normally fights at 77. He's moved up to 80 kilos for this fight. And of course, you know, we fought at 80, 84, and he took the cut down to 80. So, being oh, wait for it, wait for it. Still actively defending himself. I'd be actively running away right now. Oh, you have been down taking your back and punching the face. You have not seen oh. my evasive skills. Taking one now from the overhand right of Mulvey Stain. The overhand right landed the big beam. Really Posturing up now, trying to get his face. Great timing again from the horse of the as, uh, as he postured up, he looked to uh, shoot out. Oh, if one of those punches land, it's going to be ugly. True story. Never ever to look over, especially when the fight is at this level. I mean, great experience. Ten and nine. There's only four losses between the two of these guys. Looking for the armbar! Looking for the armbar! Has he got it? Has he got enough on it? Just running out. That is it! Round one. I wonder if any damage was done. I made him tap out to the red pepper. But is any damage done on that arm? Great round. Um, that one definitely went to Fainter Smith. Um, I'd like to see if he sort of learns from that. Keeps his next round standing. Keeps his distance. He doesn't close the distance so much. Wow, we knew it was going to be an absolute humdinger coming into this. Card is filled up now. Mm -hmm. 
came around earlier. It's a little bit emptier than I expected. And you kind of realize it's Halloween. You've got, you got about 1,001 house parties on this block. Um, never mind. <laughs> and heck, I mean, they're strangers handing out candy. I don't think they can make it. I know, we in Joburg, we have people handing out candy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't stand it out either. <laughs> <laughs> and we needed it off the uh, tank fight. We need the towel again. Yeah, we're gonna uh, it's actually Brett's asking for the towel to uh, dry it off. Again, the keen eagle eye of Green Lady. I mean, like I said before, if you get all you need is somebody to slip there and then you get a controversial decision at the end. Yep. It Eradicate any misbelief. It's been very interesting to see. Of course, he comes out now. They have to dance. Oh! Let's go right! Square on the button! What recovery is I don't understand what's going on. He came back so well. My brain does not compute. He just ate a right stiff straight down the, the main lane. And he has opened up a cut now. But he's back to his feet. What craziness is this? The nose now bleeding. Of Incorsi Dios. Luisa. Apologies. But what a warrior. Let's see if that shot take made any, any difference now to, to the defense of him. Of course, he Smith traps that arm. Starts yeah. raining, raining down with his left. And again, this is oh, the in, in the play. A little bit of blood coming out of him, of course, his nose now. A lot of it. For the push, the cage walk, and he gets it, and then the reversal. Shut up! Getting into the mat now. Living up to everything we expected of him. Wow. It's a, a, we're at, oh, catching with a nice little uh, left short, short left even. This deck here is a hard disease. Um, only, only a minute and ten seconds still to go in this round. Start looking at that. Can you believe that two minutes? Oh, of course you're getting a reversal. Uh, well done. What tactician. Of course he needs to use this now. <laughs> down in points, he has a position, he needs to push up and he needs to make his count. That's off to Natasha. <laughs> We're jumping in the middle of this fight. The fight brought to you by West Ham U. Fight for both of them. So, uh, again, I think that's a Stain last. Well, Stain, Stain had it for about two minutes, but of course he finished off strong. But so he also landed that punch. Yeah, he did. Um, Devastation being the first team. Look, I think if it does go to points, I think, um, I think Smith is definitely up on it. Um, but. Um, of course, he's definitely not out of it. You know, he's got the knockout power. And I think as a um, third round, it's going to be a bit of fun. Both fights are getting a lot of, a lot of attention from the... Um, 
in the corners. Smith has a lot of blood around his eyes. Kato is it. Or is it of course his blood? Third round, both fights is now they're going to be fight for. Been a great, great fight so far and going to be an amazing, amazing start to the main card. Third and final round, here we go. Was he switching from South Pole? Now switching back. Both of those guys are kick. Thank you. <laughs> when you bump a button, you lose all visual, you lose everything, and all it takes is one click. <laughs> if you feel inadequate, it's because we're inadequate. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you. All right, down to the ground it goes. Where's Rand News? Your window to good news, bringing us this exciting matchup. Card Association, they've been with us from the very beginning. <laughs> oh, got a little bit quiet now within the cage, wrestling domination and position. Marbury transitioning into the uh, mounts, the full mounts. Such heavy hands. It, it requires five infinity stones and a snap. You know it doesn't end up. As long as Tony Stark doesn't pitch, we're fine. <laughs> I'm talking about Tony Stark. All right, so does Thanos. <laughs> anyway, we digress. Now trapping the hand, Stane looking to rail on him like a red-headed stepchild named Annie. I don't even know what he's saying today. It's horrible. What's the name? Daddy Warbuck saved us. Anyway. Oh! Rock in the party that rocks the party. Smith, Mulvey, Stane landing that right. Took him six seconds to go in this fight. I, I half want to see a, an outcome and I half want to see more so it goes to judge the scorecards. The way it is now, it's about tight as it's tight a little bit. Um, of course, he needs to get out of there. It's not really close enough. Oh. Of course, he gets the reverse to watch. <laughs> what an incredible fight. Thirty, Rematch. Sec 30 seconds to go. Rematch. So you get the first one over your first. No. I'm a forward thinker. Trying to get out of that grip. Stane's got his hands locked in. Stane's running it out. Last 10 seconds of this fight. And it goes the distance. That is it. We go to the judges' scorecard. This is the one fight that I thought was guaranteed to be a knockout and he wins the distance. This is amazing. Well done, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy fight. Great way to start the main card. Let's hear it one more time for these warriors! After three rounds of a thrilling action, we go now to the judges' scorecards. Judge Coxon scores about 30-27. Judge Strauss scores about 30-27. Judge McGill scores about 30-27. Your winner by unanimous...